Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have uh, three uh, process calibrators and uh, well if you do simple calibrations like a 3.5 or maybe 4.5 millimeters you can use these uh, process calibrators. I have three here and you have seen me mostly using this one because it is the most accurate but uh, if we zoom in on them uh, one here this is the LB02G and it is uh, the G version is about uh, 25 uh, euros for twice that price you have this one this is from uh, Venerzy it is the SG003A and this is the best one this one is around 45 this one is close to 100 already or 110 this is the LB02A and uh, well there is a, there are other two models that look exactly like this one and that is the normal LBO2 which has a lower accuracy and so here we have all three of them this is the first one this is the LBO2G the G version and this is the most simple one it is the version with the battery and uh, you can adjust from uh, 0 volts to 10 volts and even to minus 10 volts and for the current you can do 0 to 22 milliamps and uh, yeah it is it is really simple uh, it comes uncalibrated so uh, I did a review on this one and I needed to calibrate it myself first so if you cannot calibrate yourself then it's a bit useless to buy this one or at least if you did the repair on a multimeter and you just want to see if it is more or less working then this is fine for that it doesn't have banana so you get a very special plug with it and then you can put your own bananas on it apparently I did my calibration very well because <laughs> it is indeed 10 volts uh, but as I said it comes uh, uncalibrated yeah after you calibrate it it uh, works good it can also do current um, if we do that uh, we need to switch it over with the mode button let's set it to 10 milliamps and here we are well that's more or less 10 milliamps you can adjust the current so you can do your basic checks so that is what you get for uh, 25 euros this one is like 45 and it's also with battery it has a display and it also has an English manual but I wasn't that impressed with the mail manual to be honest because it explains the buttons instead of explaining the functions so it explains if you do this button then this and this happens well I would have liked to see if, one, if you want to use the voltage function you need to do that but uh, in the end it works quite simple but you, it's easier to just find out by uh, pushing the buttons and uh, but it looks uh, quite okay you can see it has two decimals so uh, this one does come calibrated but it is uh, 0.1 percent and instead of bananas it has these smaller ones it has these very little plugs so let's see it goes from 0 to they say in the manual 15 volts but by default it is kind of limited I tried to set the limit to 15 but I pushed the wrong button so it didn't store it it uh, the menu is not that and okay I need to because it has crocodiles you need to clip it on some other banana to do your measurings and then we put the output on it is uh, almost 10 volts so the 0 0.1 is probably about right and it is probably even better so and then we can just change the voltage it can also do current 4 milliamps it shows 4 milliamps 
this is not bad at all. And it goes up to 10, I think, 11. Now it goes up to 20. It should go up to 24, but again, it is limited in the menu. And yeah, I, I didn't manage to do that because you need to push a few buttons at the same time. And it is just not that clear. Okay, and then we have the one I use most, that is the LBO2A. This one is 0 0.025, so that is a lot better. You can also see it as an extra digit. But let's see if we put this one to 10 volts. Okay, to 10 volts. Well, as you can see, it says it comes calibrated. And if I look at my meter, I uh, tend to believe that. And so it even has almost an extra digit. So that is already the first thing that we see. Uh, also, this one and the other ones don't have that, have this millivolt setting. So here you can even set millivolts. The only annoying thing is, is the beep, and I didn't find a way to switch it off, so I will probably need to cut the speaker. Uh, and of course, it can also do currents. As you can see, that is also pretty close. And uh, I've been using it more and more, and uh, it seems to get more and more accurate even. So it, uh, I think they didn't burn them in, and uh, now now I'm using it more often. It, it, it starts to be better and uh, better. This one also has a, a little generator inside, so it can do some uh, PWM uh, functions. I think it's from 0 to 20 kilohertz, and then you have some fixed settings from 85 to 90 and 190k with 50%, and you can even change that. Uh, that also, this one also has a little generator uh, from 0 to 10k, and on top, this one has some extra function, and you can do your uh, thermal controls and all your sensors you can also measure, and it has an emulated resistor mode, and uh, now we are on 20 ohms, and you see it's not even that bad. 10, uh, 100 ohms, which is 100 ohms. Oh. Sorry about the beep. I haven't found a way to switch it off. 500, 1500, and the maximum 2200. So this one is really the voltage, the amps, and the resistance. So it's probably clear which one is my favorite because I really like the LBO2A and it is really calibrated proper. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the FNERSI is not good because I think for its price, like 45 euros, I think they, they made a nice, uh, a nice calibrator, especially when you compare it to this one, which is super, super basic and uh, uncalibrated. So. Yeah, what's the use of a calibrator if it is not calibrated itself? But you can do simple checks just to see if something works or not. So that was my five minutes on process calibrators. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. So that was super fast, the basic functions. And uh, we can have a closer look at the specifications. Okay, well, very practical. They are all charged by USB, I think. You can even buy it for 20 euros, but without the battery, but that seems very impractical uh, to me. Um, this one is a plus because it has a USB-C instead of this uh, mini USB, which always, uh, this one is also mini USB. It could be, you can easily break this if you put it the wrong way in, and this one you cannot put the wrong way in. Um, this one doesn't have bananas, it has a special plug. Same for this one, it has bananas, but it is very small, uh, so you need to use its own cables. And this one is just very simple. It has only two banana plugs, and you can use it for everything. Um, two decimals, two decimals, three decimals, and if we look at pricing, 25, and you can do your voltage and your current, but it comes uncalibrated. So 
completely useless if you want to use it to calibrate something. But it is a great, great quick test just to see if your multimeter is working or not, or your process where you actually want to use it in, in a production environment. If you want something a little bit better, then you have the FNIRSI. Uh, this I didn't like too much because it is kind of soft and it almost falls off. Uh, but it does look nice. Um, for this 45 euros, you really get something. Um, once you know how to use it, it is okay. Uh, yeah, I'm still very confused with this menu because sometimes you need to push forward to go down and now I need to push the function button to go down instead of using the arrows it is uh, yeah I'm not that impressed with the menu because it's just too confusing but uh, uh, it had something nice but now I ah, here yeah. Um, if you are measuring, because you can also measure voltage, you can also see a graph, I think. But I didn't manage to get that working. But uh, if we look at the specs, you should be able to do 0 to 15 volts, uh, and it can do 0.1%. Uh, but by default, it is set to 10 volts. Same for the current here. It, you can do 0 to 20 milliamps, but it is somehow limited to 20, and you should be able to change that in the menu. 0.1% uh, comes calibrated. There is a 24 volts loop, um, and you can output a few frequencies. As you can see, that is only 2% accurate. Uh, the PWM function that is, and you can even measure voltage and amps with it. And if you want something better, then it's this one. It can do 0 to 11 volts, and it is 0.025%, and it even has a millivolt setting as well. Current also, it comes calibrated. Well, we saw that actually look quite good. And the, and the extra is all your temperature control and your ohms emulation.